Um, I, um, no, I wasn't into literature at all. I, I ran away from home, ran away from school, and wondered where I fitted in in society, sort of tried everything. And then I was on Crete with my two children. They were 11 and 14, living in a cave. And um, we had fresh water. It was fresh water beach, so to put all my um, the racky and all, you know everything there. And I was smoking. And we, we went. The one boat a week came round, and we got supplies from there. And nothing was doing totally wrong. Was didn't wear any clothes. Um, and my one of my kids was fourteen. Bless him. You know. I mean, really, I don't know. Anyway, in this cave, which later it turned out because a Greek. The Greek leader gave mother a present. It turned out that it was a Swayambu that I was living in. It was this black rock. And a voice, or a dawning, came in the bottom, it came into my heart, right inside. And it said, I remember it so clearly, because it, it's not a sort of word I would use. It said, you will find what, you're, what you were looking for, you will find in the bottom of your heart. It was this sort of dawning. And within one week, I had my realisation. This was from Crete back to Brighton. And so I went home, went straight back to Brighton, and having, I was just about to go into meditation, all the false gurus there, everything on the table. And the person who was looking after my cats and everything while we were travelling said, oh, I know of someone, I've got a friend, he said, he's into that sort of thing as well, and he gets a cool breeze off hot tea. And I said, that's it, that's it, you've got to take me, you've got to take me, you've got to take me. And it was Kingsley. And Kingsley, with just his girlfriend, was Dawn in London, and he got his realisation three weeks from Dawn. He was the only person outside of London in Brighton, which is Sri Ganesh, anyway, which is great. And so I kept saying to the chat, I said, you must take me. And I went there, and then he was all shaking, because it was very exaggerated then. And this chat came down. Um, kings with long hair and, and red and all these cats and went up into his little room with this pyramid <laughs> in his room yes. and there was he was dressed in red <laughs> dressed in red with his long hair and all those cats and there was this mirror on the wall and there were all these pictures there was a little uh, photocopy of Shumataji in black and white you'd hardly see it and he said that's a picture of God and I remember thinking I'm so glad God's female. That's <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we sat down in front of this mirror, and um, he said, I'm just look at you. and I could see myself in this mirror, and I could see this smile getting absolutely fixed here. And he said, um, um, "I'm just going to, to 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 say some words which might help." And on the back of a piece of paper, you know, a newspaper at the side, he said. It was just written on the side here, Om Twa Mavis, actually it was Mother's Mantra. Anyway, I said, whatever it is, I think I've got it. I feel amazing, I've got it. It's a big grin. He said, that's great. He said, well, should we have a joint to celebrate? Because this, <laughs> this is what you did when you had sort of like two groups. And I said, well, I feel pretty stoned already. He said, so do I. <laughs> and it was just great. He was talking and... It, it, within a few minutes, the whole thing made sense. We talked about reincarnation, and it was just, and it's just, and that was it. I went home, singing the Lord, uh, Lord's my shepherd, the sort of thing I knew at night. And in the morning, I thought this is everything is amazing. And, and I saw my friend. I said, "This is." I didn't realise that you that, that the heaven and the bliss and everything that you were looking for could be like this because I thought that was illegal, mm. um, and it was less. It was just amazing, and that was it. That was it.